Well, you joined some pretty special company today with two touchdowns. Join, you know, time Wayne Gallman just now, Deshaun Watson and Travis Etienne ahead of him. What's it like to have your name mentioned with those guys? Well, what was that? The, two tu the multiple touchdown games. You now oh. have six in multiple rushing touchdowns. Okay. You have six in your career. Gotcha. Yeah. Well, that's awesome. That's the first time I've heard of it. Um, but yeah, just to be in the same uh, conversation as, as any of those dudes um, is, is really, really impressive and uh, just really thankful for it. So I uh, just got to con continue to do my thing, help this offense and this team in any way that I can, and uh, hopefully some more records can be uh, matched. Yeah, what's your overall assessment of how the offense played today? I thought we looked great. Uh, came, out, came out early, really just uh, followed the momentum that we ended with last week, uh, which we were really happy with. Five uh, played a great game today. You know, I was so just thankful to be in the backfield with him. Uh, he's just leading the way so well. Um, really, just you know, taking over, silencing the outside noise, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm just excited to see what we are going to do in the future. Uh, but was really pleased with today. Speaking of that, what was it like to get those beats from him talking about silencing the outside noise? And there's a message there, not only for himself but for everybody else. Yeah, it's just the epitome of, of who DJ is. Um, you know, he gets a, a huge deal with, with Beats, you know, one of the most widely recognized, you know, brands across the United States, you know, maybe even, you know, larger than that. Um, but the first thing he thinks about is his teammates. Um, and, and that's what DJ is all about. So, uh, you know, to, like I said, to be out there with him, uh, to just, you know, be acquainted with him, I, I, I'm so excited for, for what he's going to do for us this season. Sure, you probably get asked about this when you're around campus, but do you think maybe this will kind of quiet some of that, hey, start Kate over DJ noise that everybody's hearing? Yeah, you know, there's a lot of that noise. Um, <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's funny. Uh, you know, I, I love both guys. They're, they're both great. Um, but I think DJ went out there and, and yes, he silenced some of those, uh, you know, critics out there today. And I, I think he showed that, that he's the guy right now. Um, and, and I know everybody's going to rally behind him. And you know, we're just gonna we're gonna follow five to the promised land. That's something I've been saying to him since last year. Uh, so we're we're gonna follow him to the promised land. What did you see on the second touchdown run with the cut? Uh, just kind of take us through that play. Yeah, you know, I, I really wanted to get in space. Um, you know, Firm did a great job of of you know throwing a lot of, of movement in the inside. Um, the backers were just really jumpy, so it's hard with that inside zone. Um, finally, you know, get, get, get a counter call. Great call by Coach Streeter. Um, it was one-on-one -on -one with safety, which that's all I can ask for as a running back. It was a one-on-one -on -one matchup. You know, if, if you give me that, then I'm, I'm very confident I can make something happen. Um, you know, so just follow Davis Allen. Great, uh, great block out um, by, by Marcus, and, and just you know, did the easy part, which is going into the end zone. So. <laughs> you just, said you guys came in riding the momentum from the last game. What will it take to take the offensive performance up a notch to the next level? Yeah, you know, I, I think it takes uh, just making the big plays. You know, we, we definitely left three or four big plays out there today that you know either stopped drives or uh, you know didn't allow us to really continue that momentum. Um, you know, but if, if we can just make those huge plays that, that you see and carry on drives, uh, get the crowd rolling, um, you know, just get the energy up, I think that that's really the next level for us is, is to not beat ourselves, one, and two, to make the big plays. Can you put a finger on what happened in the second half or just 70 total yards? Yeah, it's, it's tough. Um, you know, Furman had a, a lot of possession. Uh, you obviously have the, the punt return muff. Um, you know, there's there's a lot of things that, that went into it. You know, a couple couple big drops. Um, you know, so just not really being Clemson, and and that you know that's what we've seen. But uh, you know, to to go out there, handle our business. Um, you know, defense couldn't get off the field on third down, uh, which is you know un unlikely of them. It's it's not something that they usually have a problem with. So you know, I, I have full confidence that that they're going to get in the film room. Uh, Coach Goodwin's going to come up with a great plan for La Tech, and, and you know we won't have a problem with it the rest of the season. But uh, you know, there's a lot of things that went into it. Some some people on offense have to step up, make some big plays, and, and that's what I'm talking about is, is getting that momentum. Someone's got to step up and say, all right, I'm going to change the narrative right now and make sure that you know we're not only going to get 70 yards in the second half. There will be a lot of people complaining this week, but you probably don't know this. Marshall went on the road and beat Notre Dame in South Bend. Mm -hmm. Appalachian State went on the road and beat Texas A&M in College Station. How hard is it this day, and especially early in the season, all the craziness, to just be happy with a win? Yeah, it's 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 really hard. Um, I think for us, 
we totally changed our perspective after last year because we had so many close games. Uh, we lost more than we would have liked to, um, but we had so many close games where we you know, barely came out with a victory. And just changing that perspective and, and realizing that it's college football. You know, no, no Saturday is a given Saturday. Uh, you're going to have to play every single opponent um, with the, the same amount of respect and go out there and, uh, and, and do your job or, or you can be beaten. How much were you guys thinking about LLL today? Uh, I, every, every single time I ran out on the field. Uh, you know, we, we had something planned for today. Uh, you know, wasn't able to attend due to some, some complications, but, um, you know, we, we prayed, for the Bre prayed for the Breezy family, prayed for Brian, Ella, um, at countless times today. And, and uh, you know, all of our thoughts and prayers go out to her. We just want to see a smile on her face and for, you know, her hopes to be high. So we love you, Ella. Um, we hope that everything's going well, and, uh, and hope you're doing well. From your perspective, how much more confidence is DJ playing with now? Two games deep in the season. Yeah, I think we all saw it today. Uh, you know, he's going out there and he's just slinging the rock. It's, it's so fun to watch when when five got his got his confidence, and uh, I'm so happy for him. You know, just in everything that he's doing. You know, not only how he's throwing the football, but also how he's commanding the offense. Um, you know, his confidence on the field. Um, you know, just, just everything along that nature, it's, it's really fun to be out there with five right now and see the direction that he's heading, uh, you know, after the first two. Can't wait to see where he goes the rest of the season. How important was it for you guys to come out and start fast? You didn't do that against Georgia Tech. You certainly did that today. Yeah, it was a huge thing all night for us. Uh, you know, leading up to the game, it's something that we emphasize is to carry the momentum over from Georgia Tech uh, into this one. And, and we did just that, you know, came out, fire on the first couple drives, you know, putting the ball in the end zone, which is the most important thing. And, uh, you know, everything's just, just seemed to be clicking. So uh, ho hopefully we can take that, watch the film, pick up on, on some, some things that we need to pick up on and, uh, and, and head into next week looking good. With that said, would you like to have seen a little bit more of a killer instinct in the second half? Yes, yeah, yeah no, no question. We would have liked to, to see something out there, um, you know, a little bit better than what we put, but, uh, you know, can't complain. A win is a win. We're, we're so happy to, to be heading out of here with one and uh, just looking forward to La Tech next week. How would you evaluate your first half performance versus second half? Um, yeah, very different. You know, I only got one drive in the second half, but, uh, you know, I, I needed it for sure, you know. Like I said, in the first half, um, you know, they did a great job of moving around on the inside, and, and all I really got was some inside zone touches. So to be able to kind of, you know, distribute it a little bit, get me in the open field, um, and, and all I asked for was one-on-one -on -one matchups. You know, I, I feel very confident when I can get those. So, um, yeah, d definitely had a little bit more of those in the second half, um, but that's, that's all football. You, you got to kind of grind away, chip away, get, get the twos or threes so that you can get the, the you know, breakout runs. Talk about Ella real quick, and it's just with the team, like to kind of did, we put it in late a little bit. But how important is the team getting behind her and, and, and what you guys have done this week and, and just being a part of that? Yeah, it's so huge. Um, you know, she she came to a practice earlier this week and and uh, just just gave hope to the team to see somebody that strong uh, and and to be able to do what what she's doing. Um, it's it's an inspiration to not only me but to to every single person that that knows her story. Um, you know, so unfortunate that she wasn't able to be out here today to to see us. You know, honor her, but but she's always being honored through our hearts, through our play. Um, and, and through our prayers. So we, we, we love you, Ella. And lastly, you, you talked about how fun it was to see DJ Reed gain his confidence. What was that like from your perspective on the field team? Oh, it's it's so unbelievable. It's crazy. You know, it brings a smile to my face because I'm just in the backfield and, and I got a first row seat. You know, I, I see it happening. Um, but he's just commanding everything and he's telling, you know, he's telling me what to do. He's getting the, the protection call, um, you know, doing things on the, on the fly. And and you know it's stuff that that I haven't seen yet. So to be first row um, of, of you know DJ kind of starting to find it again and and being able to take us where we want to go uh, is 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 awesome. I I can't wait for the rest of the season. Let's take one more for Will. 